Welcome to the Daily Minute. It doesn't matter whether the person is rich or poor, owns a vast estate, or is homeless. Every person has an ego that must be overcome in order to live godly. This negative character trait doesn't go away just because a person becomes a child of God. One way to battle this basic element of humanity is found in Philippians chapter 4 and verse 11. Not that I speak in regard to the need, for I have learned of whatever state I am to be content. Everyone who is discontented with one aspect of life or another has a bigger ego than they deserve. The attitude of contentment has nothing to do with the amount of wealth you possess. It also has nothing to do with the number of friends you have or how much authority is in your control. If we are truly content, we can lead in a boardroom or we can live on the street. Contentment has to do with trusting God in our situation, not things. Let's pray. Father, we do ask that you would help us to be content. That, Father, whether we have a lot of, a lot of wealth, whether we have nothing, I ask that you would help us to be content with what we have and be content with you because, Father, you are the one that provides for that. We thank and praise you in Jesus' name. Amen. I thank you for spending time with me in God's Word today. If you have a question, a prayer request, or would like to receive these devotions and readings directly, send your request to shine the light for him at mail.com. Now, tomorrow in the Daily Minute, we're going to see that extremes have no control over our contentment. Thank you, and may God bless you. We'll see you tomorrow.